Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMos Now. You know, a long time ago, if you wanted to write a letter to somebody, you'd take out your ink and quill, a fine piece of parchment, you'd craft a nice letter using fantastic penmanship, and then you'd seal it with wax and send it on its way. Uh, today we just open an email window and type something really quick using some abbreviations and send it off. But it doesn't have to be this way. There's all sorts of cool functions inside of Mail that allow you to send nice email. Let's go and take a look. One of the first things you may want to do is create some nice email signatures. Email signatures are what appear at the bottom of your email addresses. You can create a variety of them in Mail in Leopard. So for instance go to your Mail Preferences and then select Signatures. In there you can select the account and add a signature. And you can basically add any text you want inside of here and put it in any different way you want. So for instance uh, I can create this one here um, and I can add another one and uh, and I can go ahead and add as many as I want. I can also determine how a signature is chosen. For instance I can choose one that's default or I can have one that's random or sequential order. In other words it will rotate through them. Each email I create uses the next one in the list. Random is kind of neat. If you like to put quotes at the bottom of your email you can add a whole bunch of your favorite quotes here as signatures and then go ahead and say pick one at random. Now when you go and compose your new message you can actually go over here and change which signature you're using or use none. So you have the ability to customize it. So for instance say if you have friends that you correspond with and also business associates you can have two different signatures and choose which one you want to show. Alright now that we're composing a message we can go ahead and customize some of the things in the message. So for instance we can type some text and we can go ahead and select it and then change something about it. Like for instance we can change the colors of that text. Select anything we want. We can also go ahead and change the font being used and the styles by clicking on the fonts button. We can change the font. We can also make it bold, change its point size, do all sorts of things like that. Now if you want to get really creative you can click on the Show Stationery button and that brings up all different types of stationery that you can use. So for instance let's go ahead and click on the Fun Stationery and it will change your email message to look like it with a background, with a little bit of graphic, everything in there. Big warning here though. This type of email can be super annoying to some people. I mean, if you're corresponding with somebody about business, you probably don't want to put a nice colorful background and an image in there unless it's absolutely necessary. So maybe save the stuff for your friends or just for some fun emails that you send out. I wouldn't use anything but basic text for a business email. So to remove the stationery, go to Show Stationery and simply click on Original. And this will get rid of the stationery you've selected. There's also a ton of other formatting you can do. If you go up to the menu there's a format menu at the top and you can go ahead and insert lists, bulleted and numbered lists. You can change the style, make things bigger and smaller. Uh, you can align left and right and center. Um, you can increase the indentation and the quote level. There's another way to get quoted text inside your email message. You can simply hold the shift key down when pasting. So for instance if I wanted to send somebody some data in an email and I was getting the data from a text document like this one. I could copy Command C and then go over here and then basically instead of Command V which would just put it in the email like that I can Command Shift V and you can see over here there's a quote level now set in. So it's a quick and easy way to paste some information in uh, to somebody with a quote level. Another thing you may want to do with your email is blind carbon copy somebody. You do that by selecting the view menu and selecting BCC address field. So the to address field is who your email goes to and you can have several email addresses in there. Same thing with carbon copy. It's really no different. However, BCC are email addresses that nobody else sees. So for instance, say if you're sending an email to person A and you also want to send it to person B but you don't want person A to know you sent this email to person B. You add person B to the BCC email field and they'll get a copy of it but nobody will be the wiser. Now if you are composing some great email you probably don't want to just do it all at once. So you probably want to click Save as Draft 
and that will save the email as a draft and you can get back to it later. You can edit it as many times as you want before you finally hit the send button. That's it for now. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.